What is up, guys? Let's play a game. Just me and you. I'm gonna list out four separate games and talk a bit about them. They're each unique Metroidvania in different settings, but there's a catch. At the end, I'm gonna reveal which of these games is actually a Hollow Knight ripoff. Before we reach that point, I want you to guess in the comment section which one it is. Understand the rules? Good. Let's get started. First up is the elephant in the room. Crowsworn by Mongoose Rodeo. Criticized by many at its first major reveal for stealing assets from Hollow Knight and being nothing but a straight ripoff, this game had a few bigger YouTubers come to its defense like Fireborn and Relia. Still, it was successfully funded on Kickstarter, making well over a million. While the hand-drawn animation is similar, is the Devil May Cry combat and Bloodborne aesthetic enough to make Crowsworn its own unique experience? Next up is a recently announced game that not many have heard of, but I'm sure many will use the term ripoff for when its Kickstarter hits later this year. Shifters is the name of this game, and while its title doesn't really lend itself well to a search engine, the overall art style of the game is certainly reminiscent of the most popular Metroidvania out there. We don't know much, but we have seen a few things that might make it stand out, like how you can transform into a beast. Chiroscuro was successfully funded on Kickstarter a few years back, but it wasn't until very recently when its new Chisa trailer dropped that the copycat people started their hue and cry. Apparently even having hand-drawn art and a low color palette isn't enough to separate yourself these days, perhaps the worst of this crowd showing up in the Metroidvania subreddit. I swear, that place is growing worse by the day. The dev of Chiroscuro is young, and would be the first to tell you that yes, his game has a lot of inspiration from Hollow Knight, but is it one of the ripoffs? You guys tell me in the comments below. Finally, we have another upcoming indie game, Bo. Uniquely set in the midst of Japanese folklore, this hand-drawn Metroidvania will be coming to Kickstarter in February, where I can't wait to see how many people react to this one. Bo seems to have boss fights, platforming, running, moving left and right. I don't know guys, this might be one of the ripoffs. The devs of the game have even talked about how many people are calling it a copy-paste of Hollow Knight. Is defending themselves even worth it at this point? Alright, now it's time for the answer, guys. Have you commented below which ones you think are the ripoffs? Alright, I'm not going to make you wait any longer. The answer is... None of them! God! I cannot imagine being an indie developer, pouring my heart and time into making a game inspired by some of my favorite experiences, only to have a bunch of man babies on the internet tell me that it's just a cheap ripoff of their favorite game and is not worth the time of day. Hollow Knight is my favorite game, but its fanbase is very quickly becoming one of my least favorite to be a part of. Take Chiroscuro for instance. I asked in the Reddit why people thought it was a ripoff, and one of the answers was a link to a picture that had an abyss sprite from Hollow Knight compared to the main character. Oh, I'm sorry! Are we not allowed to use black sprites in games after Hollow Knight? I'm sure no other game has had a black sprite with a white background that's very prominent to the lore of the game before, and any after must be copying Dark Souls, I mean Limbo, I mean Hollow Knight. Phew, they almost hurt me. Thank goodness I have a good editor. The good editor. Newsflash, guys. Hollow Knight didn't create horns. If you didn't know, Hollow Knight's pogo mechanic was ripped straight from Zelda 2. The heal is just a complete rip and copy of Bloodborne's rally mechanic. Metroidvania abilities like wall jump and dash? The Cancelvania fanbase should be up in arms. Four directional attacks was not created by Team Cherry. Hand drawn art was not created by Team Cherry. In fact, really the only thing truly unique to Hollow Knight is its setting and lore, but even then you can draw slight comparisons to Souls games. I am getting sick of the boy who cried wolf here. Please let me know when the actual real Hollow Knight knockoff finally releases. The bow devs have put so much time into researching the Japanese mythological inspiration, as well as the amazing hand-drawn art with a gorgeous color palette. Why do you feel the need to discredit them? Shifters is barely on the maps yet, and I'm worried the same thing is going to happen to them. Let me give you guys some advice. Just because it's your favorite game does not mean that all of a sudden every other game out there is competition. Hollow Knight does not need you to defend its sanctity. In fact, Team Cherry has outright stated this. They endorsed Crowsworn. The lead marketer for Team Cherry is also working on Crowsworn. Why can't you be happy there's going to be more games like Hollow Knight? Isn't this a good thing? I love Hollow Knight to death and I can't wait to be taken to the world of Firandal and be given new mechanics, story, and gameplay around an aesthetic that I'm in love with. This video quickly devolved into a rant, but I have had it with almost every Metroidvania game announced in recent memory just being called a ripoff of Hollow Knight. Just stop. Games live and die on their own merits. No matter what inspired them, they have no negative impact on the games that inspired them either. 
If Hollow Knight had failed, Super Metroid and Castlevania would still be just as popular as they are today. From Software is still going strong, with their biggest release yet only a few weeks away. I have no regret backing Crowsword and Tyrus Giro, and I'm going to back Shifters and Bow as well, because I want to see the creative spin and unique takes on a Metroidvania that these teams are willing to put the time and effort into make. If all you see is a ripoff of Hollow Knight, that is a personal problem you need to get over. Because let me tell you, nobody wants to hear it except the other man babies out there. If all you ever do is compare new games to your favorites that came before, you will never be happy with another game again. Why make yourself unhappy? Get out of your corner and try something new.